What's up guys, Nathan here. I'm back again with another Build Diary, and as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I've been playing a cast on crit volatile dead assassin for the past week. But the truth of the matter is, I've actually experimented a lot to get to build to the point that you're seeing on screen right now, and today I wanted to share that process with you guys. Believe it or not, the original concept for this build was actually a dark packed cast on crit assassin using a shaper cast on crit bow and an azimuth chant unique helmet. This was an extremely strong build mechanically on paper because Azanith Chant would allow you to summon skeletons that are actually supported by minion life support and in power. Blessed Rebirth is a new medium cluster that would allow your minions to live long enough to deal significant damage. And then the Unspeakable Gifts and Woke Chain means you should get some really nice clear speed. Overall, I was really excited to play this build, but when I jumped into Path the Building and started messing with it, I could not make the single target numbers look good. Even with significant investment and some really crazy cluster duels and some very nice nice uh, weapons and gear, I can really push past four or five million shaper DPS, which is not a big deal. But when you invest a lot into a build, you expect a little bit more out of it. So sadly, I abandoned that idea pretty early on. The next concept that I sort of wanted to tackle was doing something very similar, but instead of cast on crit and a um, assassin, or sorry, cast on crit and skeletons in the helmet, I wanted to try detonate dead and desecrate in the helmet, which allow you to generate a lot of corpses and then blow those corpses up for huge amounts of damage. This build was just as strong mechanically, maybe not with the same sort of level of clear speed that Dark Pack would have had, but numerically it was looking so much stronger, so I just went ahead and made the character. Immediately, I was having so much fun. The build had amazing clear speed. It kind of lacked a little bit of single target, but overall it was very unique and Reign of Arrows as a uh, trigger for clearing with cast on crit felt super good. That's when I decided I need to try a bunch of different gen setups because now I was playing a bow cast on crit build with Azanith Chant, which meant the world was kind of my oyster in terms of spells that I could trigger and just interactions I could sort of play with. I tried things like Barrage and Blast Rain as triggers. I tried Volatile Dead as my sort of main damage spell. I tried different combinations of Concentrated Effect, Spell Cascade, Increased AoE as my um, Desecrate supports. There were just a lot of different things that I tried. At the end of the day, my favorite choices were Rain of Arrows and Volatile Dead for the best clear, and then Blast Raid and Detonate Dead for single target. When I was playing Volatile Dead, I would use Desecrate, Spell Cascade, Unearth, and Greater Volley in the Azanith's Chant because that would generate the maximum amount of corpses. And then for Detonate Dead, I would use Desecrate, Spell Cascade, and Conk Effect, which generates a little bit less corpses, but it sort of causes the corpses to be more tightly clustered together, which meant more reliable um, sort of Detonate Dead explosions. Sadly, even though I tried out all of these builds and they were all fun for different uses, at the end of the day, I couldn't find one specific setup that felt great for all kinds of content. I, I was either lacking some sort of utility or some sort of clear speed or some sort of single target DPS. There was no, you know, catch all choice that bows were able to provide. So I decided to bite the bullet and just sort of uh, go mainstream and play Cyclone. Luckily, pretty much all of the gear except for the bow specific stuff that I had can translate directly over to Cyclone, so with some light tinkering on the tree, this is what I came up with. It is a pretty standard cast on crit Cyclone tree, but instead of heading over to the Cyclone start, we sort of invest heavily in this really nice large into two mediums into small cluster jewels. Uh, I used Doriani's Lesson to get some leech in the build, very nice, normally one of the only ways to get leech is either a Vitality or Anger's Watcher's Eye. Quick Getaway, which is a very nice medium crit no Notable that gives you move speed, attack speed, and crit. Surging Vitality, which gives you a little chunk of life, but also a huge amount of regen, which kind of has, uh, I don't know, a mixed bag in terms of performance. But for me, when I'm playing a build that has no regen, and then I can fit something in like Surging Vitality that actually gives me significant regen, I consider that a nice net game for the overall flexible defensive layers that the character is gaining. Uh, I also was uh, really impressed with the prices on small cluster jewels that provided useful small stats, so I was able to get significant significant amounts of uh, resistance, dex, and strength that I needed to equip my gear. And uh, those weren't even that expensive. I think the most expensive one I'm using right now gives me a nice chunk of uh, strength and cold resistance and a little bit of flat life. And that was only like 50 chaos, which is, uh, you know, a little expensive for a jewel. But I mean, when you look at some of the crazier, more meta cluster jewels, just not even like a drop in the hat, totally not a big deal. Uh, the gear that I chose to use outside of the cluster jewels, pretty standard. Not very cheap, but still pretty standard. We have the uh, cast on crit exquisite blade, a nearby's enemies have negative fire resistance warlord helmet, attack speed gloves, tailwind boots, and then just lots of attack speed and crit multi on the jewels. Again, these are not super cheap, but it's also not exactly uh, groundbreaking in terms of the things that I chose to use. 
I also did use a couple of uniques in the build. I used Calm's Heart, which in my opinion is just kind of a no-brainer here to get a significant amount of life. You could sort of go with maybe like an ES chest and do like a hybrid sort of build, but I figured it would just be much easier to put a Calm's Heart on. And also they're super cheap right now, so I will be double crepting a lot of these going forward as I continue to play the build, going for something like a fat max res or generic increased damage. Cinder Swallow, which is really nice for movement speed and damage. Militant Faith to give you Inner Conviction, which is a nice like 18% percent uh, more spell damage multiplier because I'm not generating frenzies so there's really no downside on using this and then a zealotry watcher's eye the only reason why I'm using Zealotry over Anger is because Zealotry does give me that Consecrated Ground, which allows me to hit 100% crit chance without using a Diamond Flask. A Diamond Flask is going to be the best in slot choice for damage because it allows you to drop some more crit on your gear, but I wanted to play a build that was not too reliant on a Flask to actually deal that maximum amount of uh, triggering cast on crit damage. Overall, the gear I chose to use probably totals at around 20, maybe 25 exalts. So definitely a little bit more on the expensive side as far as entry level gears go, but it's also not super complicated. There's no crazy interactions or weird niche things to count on. Just generically useful cast on crit two handed assassin sort of gear. When I finally jumped in and started playing this uh, final iteration of the cast on crit play character I wanted to make initially, I just wished I had never messed with bows in the first place because Cyclone just feels too damn good. When you get all of that assassin movement speed, when you get that tailwind movement speed, when you get that crazy high attacks per second that only Cyclone can really provide, and the fact that you're stun immune... Cyclone as a cast on crit trigger really is just top tier. It's so hard to be and it feels so good. You just zoom around maps, you delete everything. The build really shines if you have a nice strict loot filter and you sort of just push to the end and collect as many simulacrum splinters as possible. The boss damage feels very solid. I mean, even if the damage isn't literally top tier, the fact that you can literally just spin to win in circles around a boss until they die feels very nice. Really, the only question I have for this build anymore is do I play Volatile Dead or Detonate Dead? The advantages of Detonate Dead are that it does have a little bit more sheet DPS, and the uh, advantages of Volatile Dead is that it has better clear speed as well as a very consistent amount of damage. What I mean by consistent is Detonate Dead does require all five of the AoEs to overlap as well as a little bit of um, chance to trigger an additional core with the helm enchant that's a little bit more rng and i'm not really sure what the optimal way is to get those detonate dead explosions to always overlap whereas volatile dead you know you're only generating 10 corpses uh per crit on desecrate so volatile dead is guaranteed going to consume all of that you know whether you have the helm enchant or not and then the balls are going to be heat seeking so you don't have to worry about overlapping aoe's or anything because you're going to create these balls and they're just going to home in and instantly hit the target because of that i'm leaning towards volatile dead i think it's going to be the more overall um sort of noob friendly uh feel good way to play the build but uh detonate dead might be the sort of like big dit swap out some gear and do some serious single target damage depending on what I need. We'll see. Build's still a bit of a work in progress, but I am leaning towards Volatile Dead. Volatile Dead also has the sort of uh, extra added bonus of being absolutely ridiculous to play on stream. I play with dynamic resolution because if I don't, I'm going to be getting like 20 FPS while I'm clearing. And it's honestly hilarious. You know, you just like pop a Legion encounter, you start spinning around, and then suddenly I'm playing at like 144p and uh, I can't see shit. Uh, it's kind of frustrating, but it's just kind of hilarious. You know, chat's just keck debuting me and I'm enjoying it and having a good time. Honestly, in conclusion, I have to say that this is probably my favorite build that I played in recent memory. The only one that even comes close is probably the Fireball Miner that I played last league, and I really like playing Miners, and Fireball is probably my favorite skill in the game, so the fact that this one even comes close like, should speak to how much fun I'm having with it. If you have like extra currency laying around that you want to dump into a fun build or you want to reroll into something a little bit fun or different really cannot recommend this one enough even if you don't want to play volatile dead if you want to play detonate dead dark pact ice nova blade blast blade fall there's so many different ways to play cast on crit and it's just such a fun way to play path of exile very unique to the game very buttery smooth with cyclone like i said can't recommend it enough I should also mention that Mathel is doing a very similar build to this one. Uh, I think I was playing my bow one about a week ago, and then the day I decided I wanted to respec to Cyclone, I checked out his stream, and he was literally leveling a uh, cast on crit, detonate dead Cyclone assassin. So um, he's probably going to be putting out his video either tonight, tomorrow, or maybe the next day. So check out his stream. Check out his YouTube channel if you want to see a different take. Knowing him, it's probably going to be dealing a lot more damage than mine. 
Anyway, if you're interested in a full build guide, as always, leave me a comment below. If there's enough interest, I'd be happy to put something out with a little bit more detail to sort of explain the intricacies of a cast on crit character like this one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I try to answer as many as possible. And um, yeah, that's that. My name's Nathan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, not a cockroach. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, Real Human, Zikrax, Squally, Zoljin, Coda, Julia, Allen, Cutbook, Sparky, Kata, Heiser, 801, Kyle, Logan, Ice Dude, Ginzink, Anonymous, Orangey, Demarius, Bombfair, and Lloyd. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for supporting me. If anyone else is interested in joining these fine folks, you can check me out on my Patreon. Top left-hand corner there, it's Nathan Brother Bob. You know, I also got my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram. Those are new. I gotta, gotta promote those. My, my girlfriend put together this fun little end screen for me now. I really like it. Um, but now I have to remember to promote extra things. Also, my Discord there in the top right-hand corner, that's a that's a long URL. You can click that in the description below. If you want to come just hang out with the community, uh, learn about Path of Exile, ask some questions, answer some questions, it's just a good place to be. All around, just a good, good group of gamers. Thanks. Bye.